Hey guys, what is up and welcome to my channel, It's a Hardback Life. My name is Jordan, and this is very late, but I'm bringing it to you anyway. I'm going to be talking about none other than Blackathon. Blackathon is a readathon that happens all month long in February, celebrating all black authors, black authors from all walks of life, Black queer authors. It's such a fun t month. I participated in it last year, and this is the fourth year that it's happening. Blackathon was created by Jesse from Bowties and Books. They are great. You should go check out their channel, cause especially because they have all the info on Blackathon. Blackathon is not just going to be happening on BookTube or YouTube. It's going to be on Instagram and Twitter. There's going to be a lot of things happening, like Netflix watch parties. There's going to be vlogs happening, daily challenges that you'll get to participate in if you want. And also, it's a bit of a competition with each team. And when you finish a book or finish a certain amount of pages, you're going to be able to uh, somehow, I don't know, it'll be in the Google Doc. You're, there'll be a way for you to uh, give the pages that you read to your team leader. And so that'll be recorded. And might I say, may the best team win. I'm going to be participating on Team SFF, which is Science Fiction and Fantasy. And I'm going to be on Starla and Joy's team. And there are other teams too. Like I said, there are um, Team Horror slash Thriller, which Jesse is going to be leading that team themselves. And then you have Team Romance, Team SFF, like I said, and Team Literary Fiction. And... If you want to know more information on who's hosting those teams, uh, it was in the Google Doc, but I know some of them, like Chanel Time is, I think, doing romance. Yeah, Chanel from Chanel Time is doing romance. And, of course, Starla and then Je Jesse. But I don't know all of them. <clears throat> but like I said, that all that information is in the Google Doc. But I am going to share with you the prompts for the Team SFF. And there's only four. And by the way, if you don't want to participate in the readathon, like by like just a like competition, you can still just read books by black authors, and that's still participating. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let me share with you the prompts. <laughs> okay, the first one is read a book with duality. And this is uh, read a book with loyalty and betrayal as, like, the main focus. And that's that's where the duality is coming from because you they're asking you to read a book based on those two different con contrasting things and then second prompt is read a book with a trans character or trans trans representation and then the third prompt is to read a book between 312 and 387 pages and then the fourth prompt is to read the team book which um the team book for SFF is Escaping Exodus by Nikki Drayden. <laughs> oh, there's also going to be a 24-hour readathon, which I know I will not be participating in because I really value my sleep. <laughs> so, and that's going to be happening on February 12th to February 13th. And double check the times. I think it's Midnight your time on February 12th to midnight your time on February 13th. But 
double check that. Um, I will, if I don't post the Google Doc, uh, I will definitely, I definitely say go to Jesse's channel and they will definitely have it on their, like, description. All right, so let's get to the books that I'm reading without further ado. So this whole TBR is books that will be that are written by black authors with black protagonists. Not all of them are SFF books. Uh, I wanted to have a variety of black authors and genres. But the three books that will count towards the Team SFF are Rated Dragons by Evan Winter. Yeah. Uh, this is about a boy named Tao who is trying to escape from the life that he's known, but it makes it very hard when the people who he cares about were killed by people that betrayed him. So this is where the duality between loyalty and betrayal comes in. And this is the prompt. This is the book that I'll be reading for that prompt. And there's, I remember when my um, friends on the Shelf Space Discord were reading this book. A lot of my friends were divided. Some people liked this book, and some people absolutely hated it. Hated it. So I'm going into this book open-minded, especially after my friend from. Uh, my friend Pete from Ponderings of Pete uh, did a review on this. I asked him some questions, and he was very, like, helpful. Like, I mean, his whole review was helpful. You should definitely go check out his Rage of Dragons review. And I will actually post his channel uh, in my description because he's a great guy. So for the prompt with a trans character in the book, a black trans character, I chose the fifth season. I don't really know too much about this book. All I know is that it. I've heard so many great things. And my friends over at the Oasis Discord are actually doing a buddy read. And I might as well catch up. I'm going to read this and buy the Ob Obelisk Gate, which is Obelisk Gate, which is book number two tomorrow. And try and catch up with everybody. Because <laughs> the readathon, or the buddy read for this, is happening from January to March. Because it's a trilogy. And also, the main character is not trans. There is a main character. In this series that is trans, though. So that still counts. And the last book that I'm going to be reading for the readathon is The Cost of Knowing by Brittany Morris. I had to think of, I had to find the author's name. Uh, from what I remember reading in the synopsis, this is about a boy who. It somehow uh, receives the gift of premonition. And he, his brother, in his premonition, he sees his brother dying. So he, throughout the book, he's like basically struggling with the fact that his brother is possibly going to die. And so he does everything in his power to figure out how to stop it throughout this whole book. And there's more to it than that, but, like, that's basically the premise. And I'm so excited. I've heard so many great things about this book. And I meant to read it last year, but it just didn't happen. Okay, that was my main TBR for the readathon. Here's some other books that I will be reading throughout the month of February. Um, that are written by other black authors. All right, this next book is one of my one of my must reads because I love this person. 
Checking In by Michelle Williams. You might recognize this face because Michelle Williams is a member of popular girl group Destiny's Child. I was a super huge fan of Destiny's Child from when they started to obviously, I mean, I'm a forever fan of Destiny's Child. But yeah, um, this is a book she wrote basically um, chronicling her um, battles with depression and anxiety and all that stuff, which is super helpful. And I mean, yeah, um, I'm definitely excited to read this because I'm definitely an advocate for mental health. I mean, because I mean, I didn't acknowledge that I had major issues with anxiety and depression until a few years ago. And I just cannot wait to hear her thoughts. Okay, this next book is another book that I am super pumped to read, especially because the second book comes out soon. This is Amari and the Night Brothers. This is about a girl named Amari whose brother is believed to be dead. But she doesn't believe that he's dead. She thinks that he's still alive. And she gets thrust into this magical world. Um, where there's um, a magical police force. That she has to basically try and get into. And it all her other um, people that are competing... I guess, to get into the police force. Think she's evil because of what she can do and all this other stuff. But she obviously is not. And she's just also trying to get into... Her main her main goal is to get into this police force and then, like, find her brother. Because she believes he's still out there. Anyway, this is Amari and the Night Brothers, and this is written by B.B. Alston. Okay, this next book is a book that I started in 2021, but I never finished. When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. This is about a girl who is living in, like, I think Brooklyn, New York. And her whole neighborhood is just kind of disappearing at the seams, like, what it used to be. And not just her neighborhood, but her neighbors. So her neighbors are mysteriously disappearing. And the shops that um, uh, she's used to seeing are being replaced. And it's just, it's a really weird thriller. I've, I'm like 110 pages into it, and I'm liking it. But yeah, this is When No One Is Watching. Okay, this next one is a play, and I told you guys that I would I want to try and get you guys more into reading plays and stuff like that. This is The Force Continuum by Kia Corthron. I read this back in, gosh, I think, uh, 2016 or 17. Uh, I was in a playwriting class that I took two years in a row. And the first year we read this, this is about a th three generations of men, of black men, who are cops. And this is basically just how they are... Um, Just the differences in what they go through being cops and, you know, the different types of things that go on. Like, one of the things that this book, this play is, you see, is a lot of drug use. And it's very short, so I know I will get through this pretty quickly. But I remember reading this and I think I cried. So um, I think I'm going to be doing that again. This one is called Black Cake, and I remember getting, I got this from Book of the Month, I think, in January. 
And this is about a mother and her two sons. And basically, I think um, the mom dies and she leaves like an inheritance for her two children. And what the children find kind of makes them get divided. And they have to re... They have to find their way back to each other as siblings. Because the truth of what their mother... They not only get an inheritance, but, like, it's just, like, what also they find out is bad and can destroy their relationship as brothers. But they have to hold on to that. Okay, the last book on my TBR for um, um, February, at least... When it comes to Blackathon and just reading other books by black authors is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. I am so mad at myself, you guys, that I have not finished this book. I started it, but I didn't finish it. This is about a girl um, who is a baby, who's a nanny for this uh, rich family, I would say. And she is out shopping with the little girl, and she's accused of kidnapping the little girl. And it goes from, it goes to hell from there, from what I remember reading. And the mom of the little girl tries to help our main character, Amira, uh, the best way she can, but she makes it even worse. And also, the people... Um, and the grocery store where the main st plot starts are filming everything. And so everything is going viral and it's bad. But yeah, um, I can't wait to read it and see the end result. Anyway, you guys, that was my Blackathon TBR plus other books that I'm reading by black authors or what have you um in a nutshell so let me know if you guys are participating in blackathon and what you're going to be reading and you guys don't forget to like and subscribe this video give me a thumbs up that would mean so much to me and um you'll also be notified when i post more content there will also be another TBR video coming your way because I'm going to share the other books I'm reading. I just wanted to share specific books for the readathon and throughout the month for uh, Black History Month. Anyway, you guys, I shall see you later.